Hello, hello there, and welcome back aboard the SM-92, an Italian twin-engined attacker, as it is stated in uh, War Thunder. And this plane comes after the SM-91, unsurprisingly, which is pretty famous for its amazing firepower. And the SM-91, while not being quite at the level of Takataka, -taka, still has an impressive array of weapons. We're talking about four heavy machine guns and three cannons with a lot of ammunition between them and a tail turret and uh, rather than resembling to a p38 in terms of overall shape and layout like the sm91 the sm92 is more like a bf 109 z or if you will also a twin mustang or the f82 when it comes to the flight characteristics, um, the plane gets an air start and uh, overall it is okay, especially since I have not played it that much, but I grinded it and uh, in this battle you can see a funny little battle that I just had and I thought to myself, well, not why to share this with you. The result was good and uh, the way that I played was dubious, strange, but it kind of worked out. So, like most of my battles. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think this is the origin of War Thunder. This is where War Thunder got me really hooked. Over six years ago, with prop fights. Granted, back in the days in arcade. But, you know, such little details like the game mode. <laughs> that should not really interfere with our fun here. I'm telling here this P-47. And a P-63 is also uh, slotting on me, so that's a sandwich where I am in the middle and I don't quite like this. So I hope that now the clouds are covering here my turn and that I can escape. The plane handles surprisingly well at higher speeds and I have not tested out the maximum here, but as you can see we are going easily above 700 and 50 kilometers per hour uh, without any problems without any sort of stiffening the plane has relatively effective air brakes and then you have italian engines so after a while they will overheat but they will not instant cook off uh, at the runway well first of all you have an air start but second of all i think they don't have this extreme problem although i noticed here a difference between this match and a norway match that i had previous um the plane is not really a dedicated turn fighter although it is not really stiff it has some issues with the elevator not reacting instantly especially in a turn and uh, it is a pretty wobbly uh, at times not extremely wobbly but there is still the uh, case there the plane overall looks good and the firepower is mostly centralized, uh, at least when it comes to the uh, 20 millimeters. But the MGs are in the uh, engine cowlings and uh, so you have a little nice spread of overall firepower but the main oomph is centralized, just like you like it or you should like it. And now we come to this uh, really interesting dogfight and I don't know which kind of target to go for. There is a Tempest and yeah it is the Vickers one and then I just cannot turn around and correct my course in time. So this is far from a zero. The, the roll rate is not the highest and uh, then this one happened. Normally I just wouldn't get the kill but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop guns but upgraded ammunition and uh, well the enemies are just right in front of me so why not take here the opportunity and uh, yeah those were already four kills just like that um, really interesting here um, and obviously that was more luck than judgment Still, you can see that the plane, with a little help from the enemy team, can do the job. Now, it's not the shiniest planes out of there. This is not my agile and very quickly responding single-seat, single-engine fighter that I really love to hunt down enemy planes. And this is probably one in a hundred battles. Uh, again, it was teamwork. Uh, but then, on the other hand, I could escape here multiple enemies, enemy fighters, so the plane has to keep a certain amount of energy and speed. 
Again, the plane is not fully upgraded, so this is far from a review, but it's, it's, a, it's a first impressions, and this is what I like. Here, giving my team a little bit of a tip that they can destroy the light tanks on this map with 50 cals, and while this might uh, threaten my first place, um, I had battles where this kind of little lead led to our defeat, and so, yeah, they go to work on the light tanks and the points are quickly equalized which is really really nice so i think this is not a plane that uh, that you would just go for instantly this is not the shiniest horse uh, here uh, in the italian tech tree but i think it is also not quite like a stupid uh, stupid very unagile bull if you will and no, those were not references to the two Italian supercar auto manufacturers. This is more like uh, where the plane stands, okay? It is not as bad as I heard in the beginning, but it certainly is not the big surprise out there. And when it comes to initial climb phase, you really feel the difference to something like a Mosquito or to the F-82. Uh, as I said before and uh, this is now where I think th it's a good plane it's a decent plane it does the job and again you have uh, four heavy machine guns the Beretas that might not be the world's greatest uh, 50 cal caliber uh, machine guns but they're still not bad I used the universal belt I used the air target belt for the three 20 millimeter German MG 151-20s and the air target belt with the mine shells, it just works fine. Um, a few things that are really odd about this plane that I have not talked about. Well, I showed one thing in the beginning and that is the engine damage. Once you receive a single hit to the engines, the engines are instantly black and instantly lose power to zero. So there is not this dying down phase that some of the props have, especially the uh, air-cooled radials like on a P-47, where you just can limp to home and uh, you have gradually a power loss, but you still can cover quite a distance to make it home, to get repaired and join the find later. They are instantly dead and you also saw that the props, the propellers were broken like like on a, on a fail landing, right? And uh, at first I thought that it is also kind of this uh, connection bug where both engines die at the same time but a uh, look again at the footage shows that both engines received each a single hit and that was enough and I was just lucky that I was at altitude. Um, I never burned down so far but that might just be the lack of battles played. The next thing is as you can see there is also a back turret but this is far from the effectiveness of the SM91's 20mm back turret because it is first of all only a well heavy machine gun and again it's not an American 50 cal and on top of this it has extremely extremely restricted firing arcs it's just a few degrees to the left and to the right and just a few degrees to the bottom and upwards so this is extremely restricted and as you can see here, I just can't really do the fine adjustment to the flight course, so I just held the trigger down and hoped for a little bit of good RNG. Instead, the elevator of the P-47 went off and um, I'm not an expert on aviation, but I think he needed that. And that's my ace. So let's farm some of the always reliable, unreliable airfield anti-aircraft firepower batteries to just secure our first place with some points because score point system in war thunder in rrb you know? yeah five kills versus so and so many ground target kills just saying and yeah in this battle it might not have looked like this but normally you have to put a little bit more effort into killing players than bots and for our five kills and three anti-aircraft battery kills together with the survivor award we got 81,000 civil lines and nearly 6,000 modification research points good result and we also were quite comfortably in first place and I think that also is very interesting and very nice for upgrading the plane 
uh, from stock to being spaded because despite having some Gaijin gold with me, I still try to grind uh, any plane, tank and ship uh, myself if possible. And uh, there you can see the plane was not fully upgraded, no cover, no engine injection and no upgraded guns, although the gun belts or the uh, ammunition belts were upgraded, which helped quite a bit. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I enjoyed this plane a little bit. Let me know if you enjoyed it yourself if you play it, uh, how to play against it, what your experiences are. And as usual, give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other in the skies of War Thunder. Mm -hmm.